Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhone Captain, and today we're going to be looking at a tweak called Switcher. And you can get this in the Big Boss repo for two bucks. So let's go ahead and let me show you a little bit about what it's about. This is sort of something a lot similar to the first version of OXO. I won't say it's a replica, but they do resemble. Uh, it's an app switcher with a few twists. So I've got it set on double press the home button. That's where I usually put most of those. And you see when it opens, we get a nice animation. It sort of fades in and it's got a blurred background and it's opening up to the media controls right now. And you can set that to open several different ways. You can set it to open up to your toggles where you can actually increase, decrease your volume or you can set it to media, which I have, or you can set it to open up to the card switcher. I'm, I got a bad habit of calling it that, but that's not what it is. The apps that shows that's open. So let's go in here and look at some of the settings that's open. And we'll just use our switcher since we're right here at it. And let's scroll down here to switcher. And one thing that I've noticed, I don't know if it's because I have a whole lot of tweaks installed, which I do but it's a bit slow and one other thing here it has a touch id feature which i'm on an iphone 5 and we're not going to be able to look at that at all but what that touch id does it allows you to double tap or swipe over the switcher to invoke the tweak that's pretty much all it does and from what i have seen and read around the internet that's really not working all that well right now so hopefully the uh, developer will update that here's the first page first page controls you see right here that's what i was talking about you can get it to open to switcher media or toggle so we're going to choose switcher we're going to change it up a bit activity indicator that's a little light that's the like a little small white dot under or over which we've got it on the bottom and now you see right here on maps there's a little white light there or whatever you want to call it and it just ch tells you that that app is running in the background and it's open now you can change that to the top or the bottom or you can turn it off either way you want to do it also, you can increase and decrease the speed of the animation. You see I have it turned down sort of low, but you can turn it up all the way, and that makes it very, very slow, seem like to me. Controls the speed of your animation. Also, you can round the corners of those little cards right here by sliding this slider left and right. Uh, you can change the alpha transparency uh background if you want to call it that the color and here you can change the bar color from black to white to gray i'm going to turn it to red and then these little sep the separator color right now is set to white i'm going to turn it on blue and what that is is the little separator colors is those little separators between your uh media controls right here see right now they're white We've got those set up on blue now, and you can choose whether to show the app icons, the badges, or the current app. Now, show current app means the first little card here will be the, will be the app that's open at the present time. So you see right here, we're on settings, and that's what that means, and it's enabled. Okay, if you have media controls enabled, what that does is whenever a song is playing in the background and you open up switcher it automatically opens up to the media controls so i'll go ahead and start this song now you see that it's playing so now when we open our switcher you'll see that it opens directly to our media controls and it gives you just quicker access to those pretty awesome little feature uh, the switches here, the toggles, you can change all those around and enable those in any order or disable any of them you want by just dragging and dropping. That's pretty self-explanatory. You can, you can choose different activation methods right here through activator. You see, I've got double, double press. You can set it to whatever you want it to do, 
to open with. That's going to be up to you. But while you're doing this, if any of the changes don't take effect immediately, you may have to respring to get them to uh, enable. So don't freak out. Just try respringing before you decide that it's something's not working. And that's called Switcher, guys. It's a new app switcher. It's two bucks in Big Boss. If you're not a subscriber, we'd love to have you here. Hit that subscribe button before you go. Share this on Facebook and Twitter and keep coming back.